Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, sorry. My eccentric iguana, my green normal iguana. Oh my god. Signing to each other. <laughs> Communicating. I wanted to say commun communicating. Oh my god, I can't speak. Oh wait, sorry for that. Head nodding. And yeah, this is my uh, uh, blue eccentric iguana. She has grown a lot. So she, no, oh my god, yeah, she does that, she jumps t t into the windows. I have no idea why my blue iguana wants to go to my green iguana. <clears throat> but yeah, she al always does that. And my blue iguana is, is more, t fair more tame. For, for, oh my god, I haven't cut her nails, so they're really, really sharp. But look, I have her in my hand. She isn't stressed out, she isn't anything. She just accepts it. She's just tame. It, I can't believe my eyes, but she is, yeah, tame. Yay, she's finally tame. I don't know if she just accepts me now or whatever. But normally she hates hands. She accepts people. But she does hate hands. But yeah, I'm holding her. She's completely calm, just looking around, licking. I'm not forcing her to do anything, so I'm just letting her do whatever she likes. But I'm picking her up, and yeah. She is tame, yeah. Oh, yeah, for the people that don't know, my blue iguana, my blue eccentric iguana is a female. So I have two females now. Green and the blue iguana. So she's back in her cage now. I was cleaning her cage and stuff, and she was totally relaxed with me coming into her cage because I do that every day, feeding her and such. And she is totally fine with that. But today she thought, hmm, let's make a walk. So she, so she climbed up to me. She got, she licked, and yeah, she just. Got relaxed and climb, cl climb onto me, and yeah, well, that's it. She, she, I don't know. She's relaxed around me now. At least when I, yeah, you have to be careful because when you look at her in the eyes, she got stressed. But that's with all iguanas. When you look at them straight. They got they they are getting stressed, and when you approach them from above, they got they get stressed also. It's my green one. Yeah, you guys know from the other videos. She's grown a lot. She's a bit a bit overwhelmed by the other iguana now. Because normally, oh, the tail, normally she can't see each other that well, and now, yeah, it's like, <gasps> she's out, no, I can't let her, oh yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna clean the, the cages now, so, uh, this one is not so Dirty. Only the the background came off, and in the water it turns uh, black. So yeah, just like uh, this. This is the grounding, and here is the grounding when it's totally dry. So, and this is the grounding from the other. I gotta clean this, and yeah, I gotta clean. I must clean this water. So I moved the turtle to here. She was like, what is that? It's moving! <laughs> that was funny. She didn't know what it was. 
But yeah, I think the videos are gonna quit on me every time, every second now, because the memory is full, like always. But yeah, I can uh, pick her up, and uh, she's totally fine now. So I have no idea what what snapped in her, or she just accepts me now. But she got far more relaxed when she got a big, bigger uh, enclosure. See, she, she's still not trusting things, and but yeah, she's re re relaxed around me. I have no idea if you can see the color right with all the lighting. It's dark here. It's light in the cages, so yeah. It's not perfect surroundings for a camera to film. Yeah, all the dry uh, food, I picked it up. Not completely yet, but I just wanted to film it. I didn't film uh, the beginning because my telephone was on the table and if I moved around with her she would have stressed out probably so yeah but this is also fine you saw her on my hand so uh, yes yeah, she, she has grown a lot you can see that this is also an update video her spikes are a little bit uh, yeah, uh, leaning to the left and right, well the spikes on her neck, but the other spikes are really nice. She even accepts.